And we are back in Gombe, where Governor Inouye Yahaya has shared the lessons of the last four years, his vision for a new Gombe, and his relationship with the president-elect. The governor had an exclusive interview with TVC News shortly after he was declared winner. Larry DME has details. As your governor for another term of four years. After a hard-fought and hard-won election victory, it is now time to take stock. Let me just take it from here. I sat with the incumbent governor of Gombe State a few hours after being given another mandate of four years. In Waiaya looks back at some of the achievements of his first term in office, the lessons learned, and the feedback that he got from his people during his campaign tour. Uh, where we made mistakes, where we found that uh, we know we are not in direct, you know, we didn't work in tandem, you know, with either the people or the governance itself, we'll try to change and make amends. Like I said, we are humans, we cannot be perfect, but at least any arrangement that you find yourself knowing that this is yes, why you dread and you try to correct. Done with the politics of campaign to the politics of governance. Governor Yaya is pushing forward to fulfill his campaign promises and leave a legacy that he can be proud of. He is determined to complete his signature project during this second and last round in office. We intend to put up a, a state-of-the-art secretariat for the civil service and the all ministries, departments and agencies. We also intend to have a high court of justice that will you know, facilitate the delivery of justice to the people. And equally, uh, the House of Assembly, if you look at all those, they are the framework on which you know, the, a democracy thrives. And uh, for us here in Gombe, what we have is really not in terms or not in tandem with modernity. We need to catch up with the rest of the states where you know, they put all those structures. And we we'll mark a space for them. Once we move the Bauchi Road Motor Park, we got delayed because the Bauchi Road Motor Park is not yet completed. I mean the mega motor yes. park. Once that is completed, that's where we intend to put up the uh, some of those structures. structures and I think you'll see them through. Part of what the Gombe state governor is banking on is his close relationship with the president-elect, the potential wealth from the newly commissioned Komani oil field and the commercial ingenuity of his people. Landry Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe.